Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Ellie Mack reporting for thepeer.org. News of a sublime movie in development has the rock reggae community buzzing and has many movers and shakers of the scene reacting. The sublime movie is in the works from Sony Pictures with Chris Mundy, the writer from Netflix hit series Ozark set to pen the script, and the Hunger Games director Francis Lawrence attached when the camera rolls. Sublime band members Bud Goff and Eric Wilson, Troy Knoll and Jacob Knoll, on behalf of Bradley Knoll's estate, will serve as executive producers. No news yet on when filming will begin or when we can expect to lay eyes on the finished product. Jacob Knoll broke the news in his interview with the peers, saying, Oh yeah, we announced it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's all. That's all us, man. Yeah, we always get scripts coming in, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but we finally, you know, got one that we really like. I think homeboy's name is Chris, who's, who's leading the project. Chris okay. Mundy, I think. And he's really talented. Nice. Writer, director, producer, all that all that stuff. So um, I'm just interested in that whole industry. I trust in this guy's vision, and I think it's going to be a cool thing. But, you know, time will tell. When the news broke, musicians had an opinion of the idea of a Sublime movie with Denim, saying... I mean, a, a biopic about, about Sublime sounds like... It's gonna have to be one of the most iconic movies. It's got a rip. Those are honestly like my favorite movies. Seeing the biopics of like people on a much more like intimate level like that, you know, versus like just a rock star far away. Yeah. You know, like when Johnny Cash had his and you're just like. You show the Man. struggle, you show the story. Exactly. WB of Dirty Heads asked. God, that's good. Who would play Brad? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, you'd have to get like a Chevy. You'd have to, you know, you'd have to put on some weight, but maybe like Woody Harrelson. Woody could do it, right? <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I think that Gary Busey would have to play Eric Wilson, <laughs> and I hope Eric Wilson never sees that. <laughs> Another person that has a direct connection to the source material is Opie Ortiz from Long Beach Dub All Stars, who lived it and designed the iconic Sublime Sun artwork back in the day. When asked about the movie, Opie was quick to offer up his thoughts. I'm terrible at names. I mean, I can't remember. Remember the guy that played uh, after Jason Bourne? What was his name? He also played the guy with the bow and arrow. I think he should play Bud because he looks just like Bud. For some reason, I was thinking Jack Black for Brad. And who would play? And who would play you? I don't know. Maybe like um, Lou Diamond Phillips. <laughs> Hey, Brad and the boys, you know, set the bar of that sound that is like that Cali reggae song, I believe. And um, I think it's going to be awesome. I'll, I'll be stoked to watch it. And um, I think it, it's going to change lives and, and uh, show and give the real credit where the credit's due. Sublime's contributions to the genre can never be understated and are still felt to this day. The trio is fusing reggae grooves, punk grittiness, ska energy, back porch folk introspection, and hip-hop swagger laid the groundwork for the entire genre. Sound off in the comments below and let us know who you would cast in a Sublime movie. Stay tuned to thepeer.org and make sure you like and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all things rock reggae. This is Ellie Mack reporting for thepeer.org.